Visiting markets is a great way to get to know a country's culture and food because you have a lot of locals that come to these markets to sell their produce. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. Today we're going to Osh Bazaar, which is one of the largest bazaars or markets here in the city of Bishkek. And I am joined by Max. <laughs> Max is my flatmate and he'll be <laughs> joining me today. We're going to go have a look and snoop around the produce and uh, enjoy some food. is located near the West Bus Station which is extremely accessible so depending on where you are in the city it's very easy to get to and like for us what we're doing now is we're getting a Yandex which is a type of taxi and we're gonna be there in what is it 10 to 15 minutes so depending on where you are you could walk you could get a taxi maybe get like a, a Masruka or a bus or something like this but there are various options to actually get there after 10 minutes of driving we have arrived uh, we're not supposed to be here peak hour so I'm quite curious to see what this is like. So you came here at, in during peak hour yeah, once, right? It was that busy, like that you can't really walk, like uh, you know, like push everyone just for a move forward. Yeah. So yeah, it's really different. Yeah, because as we're like walking down, actually a lot of the shops, as you can see, are not even really open yet, I don't think. Uh, we are here like right at the start, like half past eight. And as I thought outside that it was quite chaotic, walking inside yeah, it it's very calm. <laughs> it's, uh, look, not many that many people. Want to get a manicure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are different segments of the Osh Bazaar. We were just, well, I don't know, by clothing and furniture and carpets and stuff like that. But now we're heading to the actual entrance, the main entrance. Yeah, so before we actually go and do our shopping, because it will be nice to get some fruits and vegetables and all of that, uh, they do also have like these little cafes. Look, right behind me. Very cute. Outside it just looks like a little store that she's selling like pastries and stuff like that. Uh, but I think it's a good idea if we actually fill up our stomachs before we go and buy food, because um, yeah, otherwise I'm just going to be buying the everything. whole, yeah, everything. Yeah, so <laughs> One thing that I've mentioned before, what I really, really love here, is that when you order a tea, like when in Holland I order a tea, I pay like, what is it, 250, three something for a glass of tea. Here, we pay a much less and we get a whole pot. Man, we're gonna be peeing for days. <laughs> I haven't had fried eggs in a while, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I can smell the fresh fire. Ooh. So <laughs> we finished uh, having our food in the little cafe. Now we're going to head into the food market. I definitely think it was a good idea that we ate food beforehand <laughs> because just now I was so hungry that I was like in, in the States to buy literally everything that I saw. Whereas now I think we can make some more conscious decisions about what we hear. Uh, yeah, that's more wise. <laughs> yeah, more wise. <laughs> it's also a good tip if you go to a normal supermarket, eat before you go there because if you go hungry, you always tend to buy a lot more and stuff that you don't need. Pomegranates and apples. Yeah, we're gonna buy some fruit. You can see the kind of like you got it there. Yeah, okay. So we were wondering what this black stuff is, but this is like a tobacco, like something that you smoke. But do you chew it or do you smoke it? Do you ask it's it? Good. It's good. It's uh, good. So it's more your, your eat. Oh, your, so you chew it. It's like it's a chewing, uh, chewing, chewing top. Yeah, like a chewing tobacco. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. God, this smells so intense. So we are walking past something called kurut. I've already tried it and it's like, oh my God, I can't, I can't I, sorry. I know that a lot of people do enjoy this stuff, but we need to get out of this avenue. This is basically, um, it smells like milk that has gone off and it is actually milk or yogurt that has gone off that they've dried and they made into bulls. Yeah, it's, for, for foreigners uh, who are not used to it, it can be a little like a strong taste actually. Yeah, so for foreigners, so like myself when I tried it I really had the idea that I just had milk that had gone off that was in my mouth and then in a dried version whereas here it's a very typical uh, thing or snack to uh, to eat but just walking through a whole aisle of that <laughs> is extremely intense so Osh Bazaar is believed to be one of the oldest bazaars in Kyrgyzstan because where it is located now is also the same place that it used to be located uh, along the famous Silk Road. So this was a trading route uh, heading off to China, I believe. And this was an important stop as well. So it's quite cool to know that uh, this very historic place, <laughs> this historic place is still in the same spot that it was uh, during those times. Okay, so we got a, a Kyrgyz pistache that she wants us to try. Almond? 
So many things I've never heard of before. Very good stuff. She has fed us like so many new things. <laughs> so um, very interesting. Even though I just came for the pistache nuts, but uh, she has a lot of nice produce here. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what it is. So we're ne we're not allowed to stop. Oh, <laughs> we had the same reaction. This is dried, but like a lot harder. I have no idea again what this is. Look. <laughs> it is like um, it has a seed in it. <laughs> she just keeps giving us food. Very friendly, very friendly. But we just had like a whole meal. Uh, Maxim and uh, Rachel. <laughs> oh, ah, this is melon. This is dried melon. She gave it as a gift. That's so cute. <laughs> Oh man, she was such a such a lovely lady, and she gave us uh, the melon. I like trying all of those things. Like yeah, it's <laughs> like for me, it's really new. It was like a new type of uh, taste, things that I never tasted before. Yeah, exactly. Like it is so interesting to walk around here and like see all these things. And then I don't think like originally, like for example, some of these things that she gave us, I wouldn't have said like give that to me to try. You know, like I wouldn't have per se tried it because I don't. Yeah, you don't think of, of trying it. It just looks all so different to what we used to. But because she like, <laughs> I would have friendly forced us yeah, to I mean, try. She, she feel like, you know, like the mama, which are like uh, us want to eat, you know, like Ali, eat, 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 eat. <laughs> uh, yeah, because of that, we tried some uh, really interesting new things. And um, yeah, I got some apricots and some pistaches from her, uh, which uh, I'm really excited about. But I'm also excited to try that melon thing that she, uh, that she gave us. Can I get two? So this was 120 som altogether for the vegetables which I'm buying here. For uh, a garlic, two peppers, three little cucumbers and an onion, which I really don't think is bad, man. Like, Max is getting excited because he wanted to show me this the whole time. <laughs> the Look big, melon. big <laughs> melon. This is the biggest melon I ever saw in my life. This is the biggest, <laughs> yeah, but it's also the weirdest shaped melon I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to work. It's okay. more simple. <laughs> Yeah, because with the other place, like they, they, some of them were yeah, taking it for you, your and some of them, you know, so I wasn't quite sure. So, anyways, we're gonna get two apples. But she didn't say really much. She was just like, "Here's okay. the bag." Take it by yourself. <laughs> Take it by yourself. <laughs> okay, and then just one remark. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of plastic on me, and usually I'm very good with taking my backpack and stuff. But this morning, and I rushed to get out, I completely forgot my backpack, and so did Max. So if you want to save on uh, plastic, bring some bags that you already have uh, at your place or if you have a backpack or a bag or anything, bring that with you so that you save from getting all of this uh, plastic because it, it really doesn't make sense to be carrying this much plastic around anyways. Okay, so again, 145 is uh, like 1 euro 50, something like this, just over 1 euro 50. One 
tip though to be sure of is to be keep your stuff safe so i've got my bag under my blouse and my phone very deeply tucked away in my pocket where you can't actually see it um, but there are pickpockets here and i've been advised by multiple people to really watch my stuff while i'm here uh, because you know you don't want to lose your telephone or wallet while you think that you're having a good day at the market so just be aware of that If you are in the city of Bishkek, I would highly recommend to come and check out Osh Bazaar. It is really nice to walk around. It's actually very big. We only saw a small portion of it. But also, this is a great place to come and get like fresh vegetables, fresh food. And it's also just cool to come and look at a different part of the city, other than all the big buildings and the parks and stuff, like actually come into the hustle and bustle of things. So if you are going to be in Bishkek, take out a morning or an afternoon to come check it out. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then definitely hit the subscribe button because there is more Kyrgyzstan videos on its way and I'd love for you to join me there as well. Thank you for joining all the way to the end of the video and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bisous. Bye bye. <laughs>